The Gatsby 5 upgrade is the easiest we've seen yet. For most sites, it will only consist of upgrading React and Node, followed by running a code mod Gatsby supplies to update your GraphQL query syntax. So let's get into some new features that were shipped in Gatsby 5 and throughout Gatsby 4. Let's get started. Let's start with the Slice API. The Slice API allows you to designate slices, which build separately from the pages they are in and stitched in later. This reduces build times on components that are on lots of pages, like headers. In our testing, we've seen build time reductions of around 20% when changing these common components across the board. On Gatsby Cloud Enterprise, time savings are up to 90%. Let's talk about partial hydration. Today, React downloads JavaScript and hydrates every component on the page, even those that are statically rendered and don't need JavaScript. The React team has been working on a new piece of technology called Server Components. These components power Gatsby's partial hydration. Partial hydration allows you to choose which components need hydration and can result in better load times and lighthouse scores. While React Server Components is still in an experimental phase, Gatsby aims to support partial hydration when React Server Components become generally available, and until then, partial hydration will be in beta. Next, we'll look at GraphQL version 2. GraphQL, the tool Gatsby Develop uses to interact with the data layer, has a new look and plenty of quality of life improvements, such as dark mode and tabs. Gatsby 5 ships with GraphQL v2 by default. Next, we'll look at node support. Node.js 14 will end its active lifespan soon, and Node 18 has recently entered long-term support. As such, Gatsby 5 ships on Node 18 and removes official support for 14 and 16. Next, let's talk about React. Because we use React server components to power partial hydration, Gatsby 5 requires version 18 of React. Now let's talk about the script component. The script component allows you to import and write inline scripts and establish loading strategies for these scripts to increase performance on your site. Next, let's talk about the head API. Gatsby includes a built-in head export that allows you to add elements to the document head of your pages, things like titles, descriptions, and social media images. This eliminates the need for plugins like React Helmet and gives a better developer experience. Now let's talk about TypeScript. Gatsby now supports TypeScript in all Gatsby config files. We also have type generations for components like the head API, allowing you to use TypeScript throughout your whole Gatsby project. We hope this showcase succeeded in showing you the best new features Gatsby has to offer. We can't wait for you to try them out and see what you build.